So if I was a dude, and I was a little kid, and my asshole father left me alone in the wilderness to be raised by Pokemon, I'd be all like, and he'd be all like, Home, maybe I should teach him English. So then I'd learn English. And then all these people would come up and be like, Lord N, you must liberate the Pokemon. And I'd be like, really? They'd be like, yes, you are the legendary hero. The legendary hero who will liberate the Pokemon. And I'm like, wow, how do I fulfill this? They're like, you must get the dragon Pokemon and liberate all the other Pokemon by becoming the Pokemon champion. And I'd be like, I will go and take the Pokemon challenge and become the Pokemon master. And I shall fulfill my destiny to be the hero. So I'd take the Pokemon challenge, right? And I'd walk into this town. So I see this chick standing there and I go up and I'm like, Hey, what do you think about liberating your Pokemon? And she's all like, I think I want to do you. And I'm like, uh, battle me. And we battle and I lose and I'm like, blast, foiled again. So as I continue on the gym challenge, I meet up with that girl again. And I'm all like, you want to battle and maybe liberate your Pokemon? And she's all like, only if you'll have sex with me. And I'm like, hey, let's just battle, please. And we'd battle and I'd lose. And I'd be like, blast, foiled again. So I continue on and that person's still following me. And I'm like, that's it. She's going to get it. So I go to this Ferris wheel, right? And then the chick comes up and I'm all like, latent sexual undertones. And she's like, oh, God, yes. And I'm like, mm, let's go on this Ferris wheel. So we're up in the Ferris wheel, and I'm like, White, I have a secret to tell you. And she's all like, You're gonna rape me, aren't you? I'm like, What? No. And she's like, Damn it, why not? And I'm like, I was going to tell you I'm like the leader of Team Plasma, but I just really want to leave now. And so I wind up challenging her to a battle, and I'm like, If I win, you must liberate your Pokemon. And she's like, And if I win, you must liberate your pants. And I'm like, Um, okay. And we fight, and she wins, and I'm like, blast, foiled again. And I run away without pants. And I get to this cave, and I'm like, hmm, I haven't seen that chick in a while. So I sit there, and I wait, and I wait, and I wait, and I wait some more. And then finally, she shows up. And I'm like, wait, you must battle me. And if I win, you must liberate your Pokemon. And she's like, all right, and if I win, you must liberate something as well. And I'm like, I will liberate my inhibitions. And she goes, Oh, yeah. All night long. And I'm like, okay, let's just battle, please. So we battle. And I lose. And I'm like, blast, foil. And then the professor shows up. And I'm like, Professor Juniper, why won't you live with that Pokemon? And she goes, Die, Anne. You don't belong in this world. It is not by my hand that I will once again raise the dragon Pokemon. I was brought here by trainers who wish to beat up on Pokemon. Trainers? You steal their Pokemon and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all trainers. Your words are as empty as your hat. Pokemon ill need a savior such as you. What is a trainer? A miserable little pile of badges? But enough talk. Have at you. And then Bianca's all like, I'm a bodyguard. And I'm like, okay, I'm leaving now. And White's all like, but Ava, I love you. But it was all just a clever ruse as I head down to Dragon Spiral Tower to raise the secret legendary Pokemon, Reshiram. And with my newly awakened Dragon Pokemon, I head to the Pokemon League and start bashing in faces. And that's when White shows up and she's all like, seriously, Anne, you should stop this and make out with me. And I'm like, fools, don't you see? You are hurting Pokemon. Even though I'm keeping Pokemon in Pokeballs, you're doing it much worse than I am. Even though I'm a giant hypocrite, I should not be the one to blame for this. And she's like, N, let's stop this. Let this be our final battle. And if you win, I will liberate my underpants and my Pokemon. And I go, fantastic. And if you win, I shall liberate my virginity. Wait, no, what, no. No, I won't! I won't! No! Stop it! Stop touching me! Oh, Ed, I love you! Ah! I'm like, enough of this! Let me raise my giant castle! And she's like, Ooh, 
Oh, I feel just like Kate Middleton. And I climb to the top of the tower, and I play Pokemon Silver with Reshiram while I'm waiting. And then White shows up, and I'm like, Seriously, lady, I need to get a restraining order against you. But since you're here, let me touch your orbs so that a dragon will come out. So then, out of nowhere, Zekrom appears. And I'm like, ooh. And then White catches it. And we do epic dragon battle. But I lose. And I'm like, blast! Foiled again. And then Get Seats comes up. And he's all like, I see you have beaten my son. Now you must fight me. Why? Because I want to be the only one using Pokemon so that I can rule the world. And I was just using N as some kind of horrible green-haired love child pawn. In this really elaborate kind of deep meaning plot that is far too deep for a children's Pokemon game. So the point of this game wasn't really to catch them all, it was to choose between ideals and truth. And I'm all like, Daddy, why you no love me? And then him and the chick fight, and he loses, and they take him away. And I'm like, oh, now I must leave this world. And she's like, don't go in, we can have many, many babies together. I'll take you downstairs and ravish you. And I'm like, yes, I will exactly do. Goodbye, my love. I'll be waiting for you. If so, fact so, whether you choose truth or ideals, you're both really searching for the same thing. And if you want to be the very best, like no one ever was, to catch them, it's your real test. And you gotta remember, there's like 600 now, so you have a good time with that.